This is GTA 5 running on a PS3 emulator on Android. This guy right here by the name XXE2 claims to have developed a PS3 emulator for Android devices that can emulate games like GTA 5. And not only that, he also has some gameplay about uh, Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit upon his PS3 emulator. Here the first video about GTA 5 on PS3 emulator on his channel which is like 23 minutes long does claim that PS3 emulator is now fixed and runs GTA 5 at 10 to 11 FPS and he also says that the emulator will be uh, released soon after fix some like he just want to say that emulator will be releasing soon once he fix most of the uh, gameplay stock and crashing issues now here is like the loading screen uh, with these uh, controllers that look like they have been edited like you just placed, placed some kind of uh, a PNG file over these once the actual game starts you can see that it is working fairly well and I do think that the FPS is higher than 11. More thing to notice here is that once the guy actually starts to make some progress in the game, uh, this first prologue mission, the game starts to uh, lag a little. Honestly, the graphics quality isn't that great. The gameplay has been scaled to a very small expect ratio. The suspicious thing is that the guy literally emulated GTA 5 upon his Android device with these amount of FPS for straight 23 minutes. That is absolutely going to heat up your device a lot and the game should have like just crashed within a time period of like 5 to 6 minutes of continuous operation upon the device. And the guy is making literal contradictions to himself like just one day ago he uploaded the first video of GTA 5 and then 18 hours ago he has uploaded this gameplay of GTA 5 where he now says that GTA 5 still unplayable and have random crashes issues and i still trying to fix that like his grammar is totally messed up here the gameplay is literally running worse yeah guys just one day ago the gameplay was running on like uh, 10 to 15 fps honestly in, in my opinion and here in this video the gameplay is barely running upon 4 to 5 fps maximum 7 to 8 fps because of these graphics uh, settings the gameplay is looking really bad and messed up the graphics quality is literally messed up and here even in cutscenes the gameplay is lagging which literally shows that the guy have edited i guess these videos to look these uh, worse i mean the gameplay to look worse he just recorded some of his GTA 5 clips while uh, playing the game upon his One more thing to notice that these fake emulators have been uh, growing with a decent rate. Like you also have this impossible emulator which is completely fake in my opinion. The reason is simple. You can check out this video of mine to know why. Coming back to our topic, XEE2 emulator in my opinion isn't a real PS3 emulator as the guy claims and in his comment section when asking like when you are going to upload the hand game he says when it's released you see for now i need fixed bug of him plus gta 5 not playable like whenever someone says or speaks out the truth about emulator being fake the guy just responds by saying that you are going to see in the future that future is never going to come my friend he's just lying if you guys remember we also once had artemis emulator which also claimed which also made these kind of uh, claims to emulate these games upon his android device but those were completely fake. The real truth about this emulator is simple and easy to understand and that is the guy just uses some gameplay clips from the internet or just uses his own clips and then he edit those uh, video clips through his video editor and make them look uh, wacky and the next thing that it does is add those controller overlays for example there you go guys the actual overlay that this guy uses upon his videos can be found all over the internet and the thing that i hate the most about uh, these uh, fake people is that they are going to get the most support out of public like in case of impossible emulator the guy is receiving thousands of views upon every single upload but when a guy who make legit content for his audience gets comment like you are a scammer or oh, no this isn't going to work this video is absolutely fake like these guy doesn't even spend ha more than half an hour upon their videos and then uh, people are going to support them a lot but the guy who spends like one hour upon searching the content and then another hour on recording then another two hours on video editing then another one hour on thumbnail and then finally uh, some uh, more couple of minutes upon uploading the video and doing other stuff anyways nobody bothers about that until now and nobody will ever be bothered about that in the future as well so that doesn't matter so this is it for today's video. This was the reality behind this emulator. I hope you get the point and now goodbye and take care.